cold weather's coming in now and I want to check and see how much ice we have in the pond. It just froze the other day. I don't think there's enough to walk on, but we'll take a look and see. Smooth as glass. This is always the best ice, that early ice. It's clear. You can see through it. It's really cool. Once we get snow, it's kind of game over. Let me take a look here and see. You can kind of see down. It looks like it's maybe an inch, inch and a half thick. Probably not thick enough to go on. I really don't want to get wet. Oh, I do not want to go for a swim. But... I really like walking on this black ice. It doesn't happen every year, it's kind of rare. Uh, you have to get a really cold night. No snow, no moisture. It's hard to tell, I didn't bring a chisel. I just do not want to fall in for a few reasons. The main one being it's cold. Ready, one, all my weight. Oh! <laughs> not ready, not ready yet. But that gives us a good look. We can see how thick that is. That is about an inch and a little bit. Got a cold night tonight coming, so maybe I can sneak on tomorrow. It's supposed to snow tomorrow though, so. That's why I wanted to get out, take a quick look, because it is super cool. If you can get on top of this ice, I've ice fished a few times on this early ice in a, in a lake. And it's just, it's amazing to see your lure, see the fish uh, underneath you, it's, it's amazing. One foot. Ooh. Nope. I'm going to try and get on this ice. I can do it. I can do it. Oh. One foot. Okay, spread my feet out. Alright. We're standing on an inch and a half of ice. That's pretty good. I'm not going to go too far though. I don't like it. I'm not going to go in anything deep. I really don't want to make a fool of myself here, but I'll try to get you a view of the ice. If I can get back on here. Two feet, spread them apart. You can definitely see through there. If the sun was up high, we'd be able to see down there. I'll try to get out tomorrow. Uh, I forgot to throw my trees out deeper before they froze in. So we got that snow that they were calling for. Unfortunately, the ice didn't get thick enough to take the weight of that snow. It's warm, it was heavy, wet snow. One positive though is uh, it's beautiful. A uh, nice warm day, I'd call this a warm day. And uh, it's that heavy, wet snow that seems to uh, just stick to everything, but it does make the trees look really nice. So that is the problem. What you see there is eight inches of snow that is now mixed with water. That snow is so heavy it pushed down on the ice. The water came up through and soaked the snow. So there's like a mix of water, ice and snow there. So we have to get some really cold weather to let that freeze. So we'll have to give it some more time. We need some cold nights now to freeze all of this water and snow mix. Um, definitely going to take some time, but it's a nice scene. If we would have just had some more ice, it would have been uh, perfect. All right, we have the pond cleaned off and it's time to find some fish. I really struggled in the fall, kind of made a fool of myself. I actually couldn't catch a fish here to save my life. Uh, the water went a little green last year in the summer. I didn't see a lot of fish, didn't see a lot of life, didn't see a lot of action. Uh, so I fished pretty hard. Didn't really catch anything. Had a couple bites, but that's it. But there should be a couple hundred fish in here underneath this ice. So what we're gonna do is drill out a whole bunch of holes. Um, this is early ice. I don't know how safe it is. I wanna see how safe it is first, but it's early ice, so it should be easy drilling. I'm gonna drill maybe 10 holes and I'll drop my camera down and uh, we'll see what's living under this ice. And I'm pretty sure, I'm hoping that there's quite a few fish we land on. So we have some ice for sure. I don't know if I'd drive a car on it, but uh, definitely some, some good ice there. Uh, I can see the black ice from the first part of the video. 
And uh, then we have that snow ice, which is the white ice. Check with my Paw Patrol shovel. Hook that on there, right there. Yeah, there's, there's probably six or seven inches of good ice. All right, time to do some drilling. I only have two batteries, so hoping we can get some time out of them. The batteries aren't happy in the cold water. Okay, first hole. Just gonna pull it a few inches off bottom. It seems to be where most of the life is in the winter. really a dark day should have hit a sunnier day but the weather forecast wasn't really in the favor I've never drilled this many holes and I've never seen a bass in here so my goal is to land on one of the few basses in here uh, there has to be deeper holes somewhere here and I've always drilled maybe a couple holes but never this many so hoping we see some different little pockets and bottom structure where the backhoe where the excavator uh, dug out. There's actually warmer water on the bottom of the pond in the winter where in the summer you've got that hot water up on top with the sun warming it. Uh, but in the winter you get they get heat off of uh, the basically the ground layer of the of the pond so a lot of the fish are sitting down low in the pond so I'm hoping to just stay a couple inches off bottom and uh, in the past videos that's where they've usually been very close to the bottom. I've hung the camera midway in the water column and uh, not really seen too too much. This pond's quite shallow it's maybe eight feet in the deepest hole if we can hit one. Um, average maybe five six feet so not very deep I just want to keep that camera low to the bottom. With so many holes I'm not going to send the camera down too long. I gotta watch my my battery life and I just have so many holes and it's getting darker so we'll try to hop holes here pretty quick. I wish it was sunny but you can there's definitely there's some light down there for sure. I just don't know what that GoPro is going to be able to see at the bottom. Just seconds after that camera settled at the Christmas tree, um, all these smaller sunfish popped out of the tree. These fish are all about the same size and probably about one year old, which means they were born here. So pretty good for the pond. It's, it's producing a lot of sunfish, which in turn will produce bait going forward. a little brighter today got a mix of sun and clouds so if we can get some sun through this ice we should be able to see a little bit further that footage wasn't really great so that footage yesterday was a little bit dark for sure um, I didn't see a lot because I had the camera too high got to be like really low only maybe two inches off the the bottom is sort of the key as soon as you get a little higher you can't see very far with the GoPro um, the one thing we did see is uh, I hit a Christmas tree in those two holes that I'm in right now um, there was definitely some fish in those two holes so I'm going to try here again, spend more time in this area around that tree and hopefully we can see some bigger fish uh, down there and holding in the trees. The holes are slightly frozen over from last night. About that much ice. You can see the water move when I jump. It's certainly still have enough ice but after a few warm days I don't know how long I'm going to be able to get on here. In this hole, we land a little bit further away from a tree, but you can see that that structure that the tree provides is again holding fish. The original pumpkin seed sunfish that I brought in when I first stocked the pond two years ago are now adults. So these ones, again, clearly born in this pond, uh, which again shows the pumpkin seed sunfish are doing a great job reproducing on their own. 
And here we have minnows. You always want to see minnows. It's great to see minnows in the pond. These are my dace minnows that I would have picked up at a bait shop in the summer. Uh, you know, they're just cruising by, hanging out and looking very healthy. We drop down this hole and this is more of a flat section of the pond away from the structure. And this is where we find the adult sunfish hanging out on this soft bottom flat. And down this hole, we stumble across some rock bass with their orange eyes, uh, just sort of suspending here, checking out the camera. Next hole, we stumble across one of my golden shiners, I think from a bait shop that seems to be attacking the GoPro for some reason. Maybe that red light's driving it crazy, but definitely an aggressive shiner minnow. Another batch of the juvenile sunfish, um, Good bottom structure here, a little bit of weed growth, which is nice to see. I have a very sandy pond, so I don't get a lot of weed growth, which I'm happy with, um, but it's always nice to see a little bit of vegetation growing. Here's a look at the air diffuser on the bottom of the pond. This is powered from the solar powered aerator up top that we run all summer long. Another pair of rock bass floating by. We're back into the Christmas tree from yesterday, much brighter today, as you could see in the last little bit of the video, the sun really changes the light down there. Uh, so many fish in these Christmas trees. The first video I ever put up of stocking a pond, I had no structure and everybody in the comments section said, you gotta get some structure in there, throw in some other stuff, throw in some Christmas trees. And uh, thank you for that because <laughs> these fish hold in these trees. It's crazy how much bait and fish are around these Christmas trees. Um, thank you for that. And uh, it's really helped out the pond. As you can see, the, the fish just love the structure. So it's great to see some fish. We know that they're all there. I didn't lose any. That fall video where I was fishing and couldn't find any fish. That was a bit scary because I was worried that green water, uh, you know, affected the fish, but we've got everything. They're all healthy. They all look great. So going forward, I think it's just really to push, get that pond aerator back out here in the early spring and get this pond back to where it was as nice, clear water. So once again, thanks for watching. I always appreciate that. We'll be back here real soon, getting this pond back to nice, clear water.